Alrighty guys, what is going on all you beautiful people? It's the Big E and this is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to our Warlock Hardcore Challenge. Human Warlock named Lucius. We are playing uh, on the Blood Sail Buccaneers and RP Realm. It uh, looks like uh, most of the people I've seen are hardcore players. We like that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going to have the rules on the screen right over here. Uh, very simple, hardcore challenge. It's permadeath. No soul stone is allowed for us. All professions are allowed. Gear only from our professions. Quest rewards or humanoid drops. No drops from any non-humanoids like a bear, you know, animals, that type of thing. Um, I am allowing certain types of demons. I'm RPing it. It's a hardcore challenge with an RP flavor sprinkled on there. So like deep, like if it's a void walker, I'm probably not going to allow it. It depends on what the thing looks like. Like we fought some imps. Or some Grulkins on our Druid that we uh, failed at miserably. And they were, you could see that they were wearing like a vest. So I'm going to allow stuff like that. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll play it out as we see it. Um, and at the start of the Let's Play, you must destroy everything that you own. Uh, all your weapons, all of your gear, your hearthstone, everything. And you start bare-fisted and naked. Talents are allowed. That's a thing. Buffs are allowed, but only from our class or race and uh, or anything we cook. That is it. As far as the economy, no auction house, no trades. We are allowed to use vendors. No groups or dungeons, no hearthstone, and no rusted XP. I am also uh, I am designing ranking systems just for the hell of it, just for the fun of it. Uh, they should be on the screen now over here. Uh, so I've only got Warrior, Warlock, and Paladin worked out. Uh, I broke them down every five levels. I broke them down every five levels. So right now we are level seven. So we are a trickster. And uh, we'll see how far we can get. And we'll keep track of this. Illusionist, Spellbinder, Conjurer, Sorcerer, Magus, Exorcist, uh, Necromant, Necromancer, and then finally Dark Lord at the level 60. So anyway, guys, there we go. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm not doing too bad. Just got back from the gym. It's a Saturday. Hardcore enabled. Start recording. So I am a uh, part of a guild called Mortal. Is that correct? That is correct. Anyway, there is a site, and I'll try to remember to put it on the uh, on the screen here. Let me. What is it called? Da 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 da. -da. It's called um, classic hc.net i think I, I can't remember anyway you can uh if you join the guild and you want to be a part of that community you can record if you record your process um you are you can submit it and um depending on how you far you make it you can earn ranks on the website and in the guild uh i think it's pretty dang cool Outstanding. and that's what we're doing so anyway we're gonna jump back in guys it's Halloween time, Halloween week. Hey, yes, thank you. Excellent. There's another, that's another guild, HC Elite. I think it's part of the same site, but it's basically all hardcore players, and I absolutely love it. Anyway, let's look at what we're going to do, guys. We have the Jasper Load Mine, and it's orange, and that is pretty dang risky. So let's check in and see about some other, some other things. This is uh, Remy two times. Lucius, there's a new threat in Elwynn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of uh, Eastern Elwynn, scaring away fish and attacking gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandit. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. Please, Lucius, speak to Doug, uh, Dugan, whatever his name is, and persuade him to send more troops to the east. All right. See you later. Let's see if we can persuade him. What do we have to do to persuade him? Greetings. Greetings. Fishy peril. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all the reports of Murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best, though all reports have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a Murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. Okay. 
Uh, if you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Be careful. All right. There used to be a thing where you could, like, jump on a charger and ride down there, but I think that's uh, retail. Uh, ba -da 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 -da. What are we doing here? Is the music too loud or the sound effects too loud? Maybe. They always seem too loud when I'm playing the game because what I hear is much louder than what you guys hear. So I I end up saying that, and then when I'm watching back certain parts of my video for quality, I can barely hear it. So I'm, I guess I'll just leave it where it is. Um, all right, well, let's run down. I thought we'd have more quests here. Hold on. I think we've got some stuff inside. Let's check. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, we are playing Classic. We are not a TBC. Yeah. This is this guy, William Pestel. Hello, good sir. Do you have a moment? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind, and I'm, I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. Can you help me? You can get large candles from kobolds, and I hear rumors that kobolds, kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. The Fargo mine to the south and the Jasperload mine to the east. I suggest looking for candles in one of those places. He wants eight of them, and we will receive a glowing wax stick. Decreases the armor of the target by 50 for 30 seconds. Safe travels. Probably do this. Let's see if there's a cooking thing in here. Probably not. No, not yet. All right. This one should be yellow. We'll go work on this. Oh, no. Somebody died. Level 8. Teldrassel. Ah... Uh, so I'm using an add-on called Hardcore. It um, it lets your guild know if you die. Um, it also will keep you from using the auction house. So the this website, ClassicHC.net, I'm pretty sure it is, they've got rules up there, and they're pretty lenient on the Hardcore Challenge, but you can also choose to get an add-on. And if you forget, like we did, I forgot about the auction house, I tried to use it, and it it won't let me use the auction house. It'll pop up and say not allowed. So I think that's really cool. And you don't have to record for the website uh, for those guys. It's just, you know, if you want to and you want to submit it, they uh, give you the option to do that. Oh, man, I'm in combat here. Is he on? Oh, he's on defensive. I was yapping. That's how you get in trouble in the game. And he's pretty dang low. So I did make a macro, and I will show you guys really quick. Um, I made this macro um, right here. Uh, that way I don't have to start casting Emulate and then have him attack. And I'm actually, I think, yeah, this is how I want it. I want him to start attacking when I click it, and then I will... Uh, start attacking. So we attack at the same time, and he actually will get his sh uh, his uh, fireball off slightly before me. So, I'll give you an example. He should hit him first. Okay, definitely not. <laughs> How long does his take to cast? His is two seconds. Uh, what's mine? Let me look at this. How long does it take to cast? Where is it? Here, fire. Or whatever it is. Oh, they're both two seconds. Okay. That's fine. I thought he I thought he would hit him first, but I think it's because I generally click on him first. But he can't we can't really afford to let him take aggro. Um, I'm gonna actually try not to pick up any junk. So if I click, this is how I was doing it before. It's too far away. And then he would obviously hit him first. You sure are making a lot of sense, eh? Thank you. Thank you very much. I also need to, um, I got to see if there is a wand 
dealer. I think there is a wand dealer in Stormwind, and I think uh, the Mage Quarter, specifically. I'm pretty sure. I've looked that up years ago for some character on a hardcore challenge, actually, and I believe it. there is a mage... Uh, a mage vendor. A uh, wand dealer. So we'll have to check that out. I do want to get a wand. Especially when we get our void walker. Get our void walker and uh, he'll be out front and we can sit back and, uh, you know, dot him up and then use the wand. That's a warlock's life. Let's have a little drinky drink. Nobody picked up professions. We have tailoring and I have not picked up a second profession, but we do have cooking. I've not done any cooking yet. I am uh, just, I'm going to save uh, ingredients we get like the, like these small spider legs. There are uh, recipes for those types of things. Uh, I do classify the, I uh, classify these as humanoids. I think, yeah, they're actually listed as humanoids. So if we get gear off of these things, I'm allowing it because that makes sense to me. We also got a uh, bag of marbles as a quest reward, and I've never actually used this. I've always just sold it, but it actually looks pretty good. It decreases the target's chance to hit by 25% for 10 seconds. It's not too bad. So if we get into a position where we have to fight something, maybe a level, hopefully not two levels above us, that might actually help. Gotten one candle so far. Uh, where's my... I can never remember where the button is. Oh, there's not a button to turn that off. Never mind. I don't have... Uh, I don't have that add-on. Oh, I do have it. Where the hell is it? Where did I put it? I moved the, I moved the high... There it is right there. I'm going to turn that off for now. Clean up the interface a little bit. I go back and forth between wanting to have it on and not wanting to have it on. One copper, you cheap bastard, you. Yeah, ten copper. Not quite as cheap. I see a chest right there. We got. We tried to get that chest last episode, and somebody uh, had taken all the goodies out of it, unless they, I think they left some bread. <laughs> pretty, like I said, it was pretty common at this level because nobody has any bag space, you know. Let's see what's in here. Actually, uh, uh, what the hell? Take that. We'll take that. Take that. We can sell it. I'll leave the bread. <laughs> I'll leave the bread in there. So I'm going to try to play a lot smarter than I did. Um, the Night Elf uh, Hunter that we were doing, man, it just... It's not like we had multiple mobs on us. We just... We were level five and we were fighting a level six panther and we got we got wrecked. We missed a couple of times, but it uh, just did not work out. So I'm really going to try to to be much more careful. I would like to get to level 20. So that means I am not uh, I'm not really worried about getting into another area uh, quickly. So I'm just going to be mindful of the level of whatever we're fighting. And I'm going to, like, we're level 7, so I'm going to try to avoid level 8. Now, it is a hell of a lot easier that we have a pet because we, uh, you know, we have something to help us out. But I don't really have any escape ability. You know, like Mage, they can, uh, they've got Frost Nova and uh, Blink and stuff like that. 
Hunter has feigned death. It's just I don't we don't really have anything to use, so I'm gonna try to be careful. Let's put that back up. A little resist there. Yeah, these things respawn fairly quick, but it's not its not a crazy respawn rate. And somebody had cleared out before I even got here, so... But that's something to be mindful of, and I generally am, especially if I'm in a cave. Yeah, I went up to the gym... There was one other dude in there. It's a Saturday afternoon. I went up there about 3, 3 or 4, 3.30 or so. Did a, uh, what did I work today? I worked out triceps. And I uh, also did some calves. On the way back from the gym, I, um, I gave into a little weakness. I stopped at the uh, Family Dollar. It's like a dollar store. Well, some things are a dollar, but everything's pretty dang cheap. It's a poor man's store, and that's uh, I shop there quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, I bought like not a large bag of chips, but like it's not a small. It's like a medium bag of chips, just to snack on, because I was having uh, cravings last night. And uh, if you're somebody who struggles with cravings, the best advice I can give, you know, if you're trying a new diet, you're trying to eat healthier, but you have these cravings. I don't want to say give in, but allow yourself a little bit, okay? If you feel like it's going to be overwhelming and you want a soda or you want a candy bar, open a soda or open the thing you want and just have a little bit of it and then seal it back up and put it away. That, if you can do it, that's the best way to handle a craving. Just get a little taste of it, you know. So I was craving... I don't often crave potato chips, but I wanted potato chips <laughs> last night, so I stopped and got some. And um, so if I have a craving, I'll open them up. You know, I'll eat a couple of handfuls, and then I'll close the bag, and I'll literally go back and put them. I won't leave them here on the desk. That'll be too tempting. But uh, That's the best way to handle it. We might have to... Okay, we got away with that. Anyway... I bought a medium bag of chips, and I don't often buy potato chips, but I've noticed it's been a thing for a while where the companies will fill the bag. Sorry about bumping the mic right there, guys. They'll pump it up with air. And as far as I know, I think they say they do that so that the chips won't get broken. I don't believe a word of it. Maybe it helps a little bit, but uh, it's not like the chips are suspended in zero gravity, right? They're still going to get fucking broken. I think it's just because it'll be it's harder to tell how many chips are in the damn bag. So, like I said, I got a bag about like this, a medium bag, filled with air. I opened it up, had a handful before I started recording, and I swear to God there was this many chips in it. Like a quarter of the bag was filled with chips. So I understand they're settling, right? They fill, they you know, they put chips in the bag, and then as it ships, things find places to settle, and it appears like there's less. I That's the thing. I get it. But come on, there's no way they filled that bag to the top and then sealed it. I'm not exaggerating. Like a quarter of the bag had chips in it. I don't know why I'm complaining. Because I like complaining. I paid a dollar. <laughs> I paid a dollar for the bag, so I should, I should probably just shut the hell up. Anyway, thought it was funny. Oh, I sorry, brother. I didn't mean to... Sorry about that. I didn't mean to uh, steal your mob. Feedy picks. <laughs> Oh, no. That was weird. Do you see that mob despawn? It didn't run back. It just literally despawned. Are you in trouble, my lady? No, she's not in trouble at all. All right, we still need... Uh, we need two more candles. Getting linen cloth, and that's good for us, because we are Taylor. I don't know when we'll be able to make some bags, but um, 
We'll do that as soon as we can. But we've made up some gear for ourselves. Yeah, we made up a cloak. We made up a chest piece and a shirt. What else did we make? We made a belt pa and pants. Oh, God. Okay. So that was a pretty quick respawn rate right there because I just killed this guy a couple of kills ago. And also, I think this also depends on how many other things are being killed in the area. If you've got multiple people here, you can kill something, and because all the mobs are depleted, you can literally have it respawn immediately. That is definitely a thing. Let's see if we can get our last candle here. Not yet. Let's have a little drink of some refreshing spring water. Hey, brother. Peanut Strong, little gnome warrior. Much respect. Is he in my guild? I didn't see. Might have been in our guild. I'm going to start the imp in. I noticed last episode, uh, we were running back to Goldshire. And the imp was being chased by a spider. I had it on passive just so we could run away. The imp had one HP left <laughs> at one point. I thought that was funny. I didn't even notice. I didn't even realize how close he was to death. All right. There are also some other quests. Let's, um, between these two farms, there's a lot of running around and stuff. And we're going to be in Elwyn Forest for a while. We're not going to be moving into Westfall anytime soon. There's some high level stuff there. High level things there. Good grammar. I do. I grammar. As you guys know, I grammar goodly. I grammar most gooder. Mostest goodest. Occasionally goodest good grammaring. I grammarly. Hello. Hello. Let's sell off our junk. All of this stuff dropped off humanoids, so we are allowed to sell it. If this had dropped off animals, uh, I would just delete it. I would not even bother with it. Okay. Not too shabby. There's Paul McClure. Hello. Hello. Hold on, guys. Seems hella loud. Young lovers. Oh, I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield. Well, should I take my shirt off? I bet I could change your mind. Save the creep for mountains, sir. Uh, but our families are bitter enemies. So this is a... Um, this whole thing, I don't know if you guys know, I have a personal opinion that this is Romeo and Juliet. What were those two riving families? The Capulets, the Montagues and the Capulets. This is what this whole thing is about. Uh, our families are bitter enemies, so I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Okay, you don't have to give me that much detail. Please take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield Farm, Huff and Paint, which is due west of here. Okay. Well, uh, okay. I mean, if you're the dude to Huff Paint, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but do each their own. It didn't say he was Huff and Paint. You made that up. I did. I did make, make it up. I guess I'm jealous because she doesn't have eyes for me. Even though we just met, I'm a complete stranger. Dun, 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 dun. Should be able to make up some uh, linen, bolts of linen, and we will. We get to a safe area, which would be Goldshire. We'll also check in at the other farm. Ah, uh, this one. Or, no, this one. Whatever that farm is. There'll be some other quests there as well. Dun, dun, dun. I'll tell you, one thing nice about Warlock and the pet is uh, I don't have to feed it. You don't have to manage the pet's happiness like you do with Hunter. Which does save bag space because I don't need to keep food on me. That is definitely a thing. Uh, oh, right, in here. Oh, 
Oh, man. I'm not allowed that buff. When did I get Mark of the Wild, guys? I didn't even notice that. I think we got it at the beginning of the episode, didn't we? When we were jumping around and I was talking. Um, I'm going to let it slide, but that's that's a no-no. Um, I'm not supposed to have any buffs, but I did not notice it. It's, like I, it's not like I did that on purpose. I just happened to look up to see if I needed to refresh this, and we did have Mark of the Wild. So we're only allowed buffs from food that we cook or from our own racer class, which is our demon armor here. Did you gather those candles yet? I did. Uh, you've been busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, Lucius, and here's your reward. All right, you got a follow-up? He does. Shipment to Stormwind. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. Okay, well... Okay, he will pay us well. Okay. I've packed up the candles and you can find Morgan in our shop, Pestle's Apothecary, in the Stormwind Trade District. We will do this because I want to go to the Mage Quarter and see about a wand. Uh, okay, yeah. Bring it to him and we also get to pick from... Um, this is a quest rewards... Wait a minute. Would I allow this? Yeah, I think I would allow this because it's a quest reward. It's strength by four, whatever. You are allowed quest rewards... Uh, yeah. Have a good one. You have a good one, brother. Let's make up a couple items real quick. I'm sipping my drinky drink. Man, I'm back on my crazy night schedule. Sleeping most of the day. Up all night. We'll leave that be for now. Anyway, I live right beside, literally right beside uh, Western New Mexico University. It's a small university, but they've got a sports team. They've got a football team. They've got a tennis team, uh, field hockey, swimming. Pretty decent. They've got a nice field, and it's literally, I could walk to it. It's two minutes away. Anyway, it was, uh, I don't know, it was about noon or 1 p.m., and I was just kind of laying in bed, getting ready to get up. And uh, I can hear the announcements. They have like their own stadium, and I can hear the announcements. I've gone over there one time to see. God, this music! What the? I went over there once and uh, watched the game. It was pretty cool. But I could—I uh, was listening to the game being announced <laughs> uh, through the loudspeakers. Pretty cool. <laughs> They've got a volleyball team as well. Right, let's put it on passive. This guard should actually run over and save our life. Guard, help me! Thank you, guard. Hey, brother. Whiskey Padre. Outstanding. Yes, brother. I can't have your buff, but I don't want to be a dick. Hey, cheered at me. Got to get rid of that, though. The uh, the hardcore challenge on the guild's website does allow buffs and everything. It's a pretty lenient challenge. You can elect to do it, I think, one of two different ways. You can have professions and talents, or you can elect not to. And if you do it that way, you can get a uh, higher ranking or something on the website. Thought that was pretty cool. It's much like the Iron, the original Iron Man site. You could register your character, and it would keep track of your progress if you turned a certain thing on in your achievement page or something. I can't remember exactly. All right, should be. Here we go. How's it Hello. going? What's up, Morgan? A shipment from my brother. Splendid. Fortunately, our fortune truly shines on me today. Here's your payment, and while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure I have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. All right, we're going to take... Um... It's quest reward. I, okay, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I've gotta be more specific in the rules here. I am RPing this hardcore challenge. So basically, if we do somebody a favor, we get a reward. I'm going to allow uh, us to use it. So I'm gonna take this. See you later. I just can't have any other buffs from any other source, but I do need to clarify that a bit better, I believe. Is this our? Uh, no, this isn't. Hold on. 
Reagent Venture. Okay, so we're going to go into the Mage Quarter. I'm pretty sure there's a wand vendor. How much do we have any money to work with? We've got a little bit. I don't know if we'll be able to afford a wand, but let's find out. Pretty close to level 8. Might run the episode a bit longer, see if we can hit level 8. That way we can train. I would assume we get Voidwalker at level 10, but I honestly don't remember. I don't know. Oh, he's got Mark of the Wild, too. I can't get rid of it. Uh, I'll have to do this. Um, I'll dismiss him and resummon him. Yeah. That, I think that was a guild member. When we were jumping around at the start of the video, I wasn't paying attention. I was just excited to be alive. Oh, he still has it. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to have to let that slide because I'm trying to right-click on it. I cannot. I can't get rid of it. So, it's, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, let me see. Wand Vendor. Alchemy needs... There's the Herbalist Trainer. If I find this, I will be surprised because it's been a while. There's the Blue Recluse. We'll have to do some stuff there as a Warlock, but we're not... From what I remember from this Warlock quest that you have to do to get something, it is, it's rough, man. It is rough. Um, it wouldn't be there. Let's check essential components. I could be completely wrong. Reagent? Oh, there's only one person in here. Let's, what do you, what do you got, brother? Looking for something specific? Yes, I am. I'm looking for a wand, specifically a wand. Oh, that's a quest. I was like, where did I get that? Let's put this down here. Safe travels. Safe travels, brother. I'm not giving up. I think it could be around here somewhere. This is a pretty big area. Let's have a look back here. I think we've got some other shops. Is this a shop? That's part of the Blue Recluse. What's this? Ancient Curios. I wonder what that is. Let's go have a look up there. I don't even know if I've ever been in this shop. Arcane Trinkets Vendor. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever even been in here. This place looks pretty cool. She's got a little rabbit. Oh, it's Fizzles. What's up, Fizzles? Help you find something? Since the fall of Dalaran and the destruction of Quathalas, uh, wares of this sort have been hard to come by. But Lucan Cordell and some of our other tradesmen have been doing a fine job of filling our orders with quality merchandise. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. We would be able to buy this belt if we had the money. It's cloth. I'll have to keep this in mind. Okay. Light bless you. Yeah. Light shine on you? I don't know why that bothers me so much when the NPCs say light bless you. It's always bugged me. I don't know why. The Slaughtered Lamb. Oh, that maybe that's what I'm thinking of where the Warlock thing is. Pyrotechnics. Surely there's going to be a gnome in there. Um, Let's check in here. Again, oh, it's not a gnome. Good day to you. What's going on? I sell only the finest arcane gear made by the crafters and mages here in the city of Stormwind. That's interesting. All right, well, I'm not spending a silver on fireworks. There might be some RP stuff there. Um, Let me... Should I check the slaughtered lamb? I might look this up, guys. I'm almost positive hey there. I've bought a wand in here before. Have a good one. Let me see if it's down here. This is the warlock place, I'm pretty sure. This is where you can get a new demon, somehow. Well, at least it was in retail. Yeah, we got warlock trainers. All kinds of warlock. Yeah, this is just warlock stuff. Master Shadow Weave Tailor. That's interesting. Can I help you? Okay. Be careful. Um, let me check one more place before I before I give up and look it up. 
it is a little bit satisfying if you think you know where something is or, you know, and then you actually find it. It does feel pretty good if it happens. Uh, actually, this heads out, doesn't it? No, this is still this is still right. Did I have have I checked here? That shop is closed. I feel like I'm I've missed one shop here. What is this? Oh, is this it? I think this is the last shop. Stormwind Staves. We might get lucky. Staff merchant. Wand merchant, boys. Wand hey, merchant. Hey, I sell only the finest arcane gear, right? Uh, requires level 15. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I did remember correctly. Uh, well, we're not... Obviously, I'm not, I am not. can't afford it anyway, but I don't want to purchase it right now. But, okay, that's good to know. If anybody is looking for a wand, it is right uh, here, right here in this corner. All righty. So, right as you come in, depending on where you come in, just run to the right, and it's right up those steps. Good to know. Awesome. So I thought we might be able to uh, possibly get to level 8, but uh, we'll have to save that for next time. Anyway, let's go over. We'll take a run over to the trade supplier, and we'll see if we can uh, what we can make up, get our tailoring up a little bit. I won't be doing much off camera like I'm doing on Mountain and Finn because this is a hardcore challenge, and uh, I feel like I need to show well everything, especially because I'm also recording for the for the guild and for the site. Uh, let's see, what can we make here? That only costs one. Let's make some of these up. Uh, we'll make uh, we'll make five of them. Get to the next level. I need to be doing this. I need to be doing this at the tailor, not here. It's not too far away. But I'm going to sell these right back to her. Still still orange. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know if it's a good sign. Uh, let me just pick up some more. Actually, let's okay. run over to the... I should have done this before. The tailor is... I think the tailor's out here. Let me ask a guard. I'm pretty sure that's where the tailor is. Life be with hey, brother. Profession tailoring? For the Alliance. For the Horde. <laughs> that's right. It's like right across or near where the uh, the alchemy and the herbalist are. Come on, little impy. Little garnip. I'll look down the line here at the tailoring trainer to see when we can... Oh, yeah, it's right here. To see when we can make a bag. Because I could also sell those for sure. How are you? Oh, yeah, we can make up all kinds of stuff. Let's see. So these pants are a little bit better. Oh, we can make a green already? Give me that, my friend. Um, Hold on. I got, I got to be mindful of my money here. Uh, where is it? Oh, I, wait a minute. I don't have, uh, I don't have enough linen cloth bolts. Oh man, I should have, maybe I should have come here first. Okay. It's not a big deal. We can get more linen, uh, easily. So what does this one require? It doesn't say what it requires. One spirit. Oh, this gives intellect. I think I actually, I want that one instead. And that's, those are upgraded gloves. I don't really care about shirts or dresses. I can't afford that stuff right now, so we're not going to mess with it. Yeah. Okay. Good, Good to know. Um, what are you looking for? I'm looking for, oh, hello, Alexandria. How have you been? Uh, let's get eight more of these. Give us a full stack of 20 and... I'm going to sell 
yeah, I'm going to sell this stuff because it basically restores nothing. And we'll put this up here. That's a quest item. Okay. And that's in a that's a deal. Okay. Uh, so we can't log out here. So as a hearth, oh, we don't have a hearthstone. I keep forgetting about that. So I've got to run out. We can't log out in a place where we get rested XP. I don't really know. Saying that out loud right now, since I'm kind of RPing this and trying to make it real life, that doesn't actually make any sense, does it? <laughs> yeah, I may change that. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I mean, I would keep the no Hearthstone rule. Uh, I would definitely keep that, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense that I can't log out in an inn. I'd be able to do that in real life. So like I said, I'm working some of the stuff out as I go, guys. But I just, I'm trying to find ways to make the game a, a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more fun and play it differently. So we are actually just going to log out here, and I will change the rules to reflect that in the next episode. We'll hang out in the cheese shop. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. I surely do. You guys take care. Mr. Garnip, Mr. Lucius, and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Farewell. Farewell and peace.